Howdy friends, from prairie schooners to Murphy wagons, these are what help transport the folks called overlanders to their destination on the Oregon and Santa Fe trails. Strong and built for the rugged land, these wagons took the possessions of the pioneers west. But when a spoke broke, too, due to the rough use, the wagon train stopped. Progress on the trail couldn't continue until the spoke was prepared, and it took teamwork to fix it. It was only one little spoke. How could it affect so many people? Depression, heartache, or poor attitude can have the same effect in your life. These types of conditions don't just affect you, they impact your family, friends, and coworkers. If you continue living this way, if you give up, the wagon train of your life may eventually move on without you. But as you let others help, including Jesus, they work together with you to bring healing so that you can continue. Broken spokes in your life can be fixed. You be encouraged. Prop News brought to you by Heritage Tractor, your full line John Deere dealer. Visit us online at heritagetractor.com. Good morning. Uh, we're out at Premier Farm and Home. We're joined by Chad. It's good to see you. How you doing, Brian? I'm well. Um, we, you know, Chad controls the weather. I don't know if you guys know that or not. <laughs> Boy, you're really setting uh, me up. Well, this I time. know. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. Uh, we normally shoot outside, but Chad knew I was coming today, so he ordered some rain. I so. did. Good job. If I could do that, I'd start bringing out a collection. <laughs> yeah, five, see yeah. what I could get. I wouldn't be in this business. Okay. Um, brutal, brutal summer. Kind of the second one in a row. Uh, we always, about this time of the year, talk about seeding and sure. all that sure. other stuff. But is this a year where we really have to truly evaluate our yard? Because, I mean, it's been beat up for two years. It, it does. It really takes um, a special kind of persistence to live in a place like Kansas where it's too hot for cool season grasses and too warm for cool season grasses. We call it the transition zone for a reason. Neither grass does well here. Um, I still think we need to stick with our fescues, you know, for our area, for the most part, for home lawns. Um, the Bermudas are becoming maybe a little bit more of an option. But when we talk about evaluating, I want to see if, it's, if it needs seed or maybe we can get by with a little fertilizer and just perk it up. So what I usually do is I go out in the yard and I just start walking around and I just, you know, step to step mm -hmm. to step. And if I can walk through that yard and not touch a blade of grass if I'm on dead and damaged and bare areas, some sort of seeding needs to take place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, so, and, yeah, and one, one of the other things that uh, Chad taught me last year is, you know, even though it looks dead, if you grab it right, and, it's right. got, and it's got a little, you know, you can't pull it out, there's probably some life there. Is so that it, kind of it, it would, you know, I think we're getting after that three inch rain, well, it's, it varies for wherever you're right, at. Right, sure. Um, when we got good rains come through, if you've seen a couple of good rains or maybe you've even gone out and watered it a few times and you're not seeing at least some life come mm -hmm. back, it's pretty certain by now we can say it's not coming back. Right. Um, but if you're seeing little signs of hope, maybe a little fertilizer can, can get you through that or maybe just some touch up seed, um, that sort of thing can get you going. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about um, uh, different seeds that we now have. Every year it seems like we've got a new seed on the market, mm -hmm. new fangled seed. Uh, I, I can tell you sure. this is the one I used last year and I was right. very, very happy well, with good, it. Good. So, I'm glad you liked it. Yep. Let's talk about that. K31 versus tall fescue. Um, it really boils down to your expectations. If you expect to see a dark green yard, that finer texture, that core thing, um, K31 is not going to get you there. Um, it just doesn't have the genetic makeup to, to have the finer leaf blades and that darker green color. Um, so you have to start with it being possible. If it's not possible, right. you're always chasing something and right. you're never happy, right? Um, so the turf types, they have this, uh, and we're talking about tall fescue here. Turf type tall fescue have a dark green color similar to what we see in bluegrass. And uh, it also um, doesn't grow as fast as kind of the pasture types. So K31 was originally brought over as pasture grass. So it grows fast with wide leaf blades to produce forage for livestock. Well. We also found out it grows pretty darn good in our yards, and it's a tough grass, and, and certainly has its place, but you can't, you, you can't polish it up or make it look any better than it is. It is what it is. Right. Yeah. No matter how much lipstick you put on it, it's it, not going to be a prom date. It's right. That's right. It is what it is. <laughs> right. So. so, okay, in the last 30 seconds we have here together, uh, two qu quick tips okay. that uh, kind of get us through uh, fall. 
Um, the biggest thing with fall is, is now that your grass is awake, don't forget to provide a little irrigation. You know, this is the time when your plants make food. Mm -hmm. So we want to think about a, a good fall fertilization. Um, we're actually storing more food than we're using this time. So it's a, it's a really good idea to fertilize your lard or maybe even water it a little bit to wake it up, get it back repaired to where uh, we want it so that it can store food and be ready for the next year. And then um, should we power rake everything, kind of clean off the topsoil? I with mean, ter With fescue, it's important that we get seed soil contact. Now some people will do that through an aeration okay. machine of some sort. Uh, slicers are very good. You have your own spikers or pull behind implements yeah. that they have. Uh, even a good old drag harrow. Just some way to get seed soil contact and that soil gets, uh, gets the water in there so that way the seed can break dormancy and come up for you. Perfect. Yep. And if you have any questions, of course, heycow.com. Right. Or right. Uh, just drive yourself out here to Premier Farm and Home. They've got test sure. plots about yeah. out here in the back. Absolutely. You can see the variety. You, you can, can see, see the, the variety. Exactly. Look for yourself. And um, he's got more seed than. <laughs> than I need, and yeah. I always need a lot of seeds. So, all right, Chad, thanks, Appreciate buddy. It. It's Thank good you. to see you. No problem.